Uh, I got an uh, email here uh, from Frank Chavez, a.k.a. Hobbit1. I really do enjoy your show. I watch every week on Miro from Phoenix, Arizona, USA. It's great to have you here, and thanks for uh, joining us on Category 5. I started watching from the beginning shows, and I'm working my way through them all and watching each week as new ones come out. Very cool. Uh, I wish I could donate to your show, but I'm unable to do so at this time due to my employment situation. The reason that I'm emailing you is to give a tip. If you don't already know this, I did not want to ask your, on your board because I didn't want you to think that this was an advertisement, but the website that I want to tell you about is osalt.com, which I'm not affiliated with, but if you put in your Microsoft program name in the search field, it's going to tell you uh, what is available in open source as an alternative. Just a little tip for the viewers. Love the show from Frank, a.k.a. Hobbit. Thank you very much, Frank, for that link, uh, osalt.com. I, I have actually come across this in searches uh, when I've just been Googling for alternatives, and this is one of the ones that comes up. It is a little bit, uh, you know, it's frustrating how many ads come up, but it does work very well. And uh, so we'll, we'll maybe put this as one of Robbie's favorites. How's that sound? Uh, let's just try something like Photoshop. I'm just going to search here, osalt.com, so I can see Adobe Photoshop CS4. That's the version, let's say, that I want an alternative for. It explains a little bit about what Photoshop is and then gives us some alternatives from Cinepaint to Krita to GIMP to Seashore to GIMP Shop. Uh, so definitely a great resource. You can just punch in your Microsoft compatible, uh, like your Windows program name, and be able to get uh, some information about, uh, about what is available from open source. Very cool resource. Thanks again, Frank.